Welcome to the Spirit of Nature YouTube channel. This is the first episode of many wildlife documentaries coming this year. It's early spring in Texas, and this episode is about the overpopulation of different types of fish that can occur in private freshwater ponds that are left unmanaged for many years. This specific pond has been overran with green sunfish, a beautiful and aggressive species of sunfish native to the lakes and rivers of America. They are known to take over and completely overpopulate ponds due to their large mouths and aggressive diets. Embark on this journey with me to get to the bottom of why they overpopulate so easily and see if they can be managed and brought back down to a healthier number. So this pond that I'm journeying to right now is uh, in the bottom of a valley. It's surrounded by at least four specific hills it's the ultimate place to dig a, uh, you know, a, a good structured pond that will catch plenty of water. And uh, I, I could tell by the amount of fish in it that it hasn't gone dry in years, at least. This is the trail down into the valley. You can see specific hills here, here, and here. I do believe there's a, a creek that starts up on this hill, and it goes down into this bottom and then it goes out, it travels south, that's south, that's north. So, the ultimate place to put a pond. Getting a wide view on the pond here, it has this channel, it opens up to a big hole over there. It's got this neat little channel over here. Hadn't really fished this spot yet. I have fished this pond for weeks, and all I've caught are small green sunfish. I've tried everything. I've used different types of lures, I've used worms, and even cut bait for catfish in the deeper parts of the water. And so far, nothing has worked. So my task is to measure each sunfish I catch and prove they are overpopulated and not growing to their full potential. And in the end, try to get their population down to a healthier number by taking some out myself and eating them or bringing in bigger fish from public waters such as largemouth bass or flathead catfish. Packed tackle pretty light on this trip. Don't need much to catch these little green sunfish. Probably just gonna start off with a plastic worm Probably cut a quarter of it off and put it on a treble hook. Don't take much to catch these little guys. You're not, don't even have to be that special. Just doing a simple fishing knot. Six or seven twists. Back through the loop. We're gonna rip about a quarter. Actually, I already have one. Look at that. That's even better. Quarter the worm off. I already have one go. All you gotta do is hook it one time right through the middle. That simple. All you gotta do. I am gonna put a snap weight just at the very end of the line, right where the hook meets the line, maybe an inch higher. There we go. That ought to get him. Green sunfish typically grow from 6 to 7 inches, but when they are overpopulated, it's hard for them to even grow over 6 inches. When their population is at a healthier number, they can grow up to 12 inches. 
Caught him on that plastic worm. That's all it takes. These guys are easy. Let's get some measurements on them. Fish number one is... He don't want to be measured. Exactly six inches. Six inches exactly. Just pulled another one out of there. About the exact same size. Let's go get him measured. All right. I'm going to guess he's a little bit less. He's actually a little bit more. This one is six inches and one quarter quarter inch bigger than the last one Ooh, it is a nice one. he's got to be at least six inches After catching that last sunfish, I decided to cast in the same spot and see if I could catch another one. And the unthinkable happened. I didn't get this on video. As soon as I caught that last perch, <laughs> y'all ain't gonna believe this. Look at this monster. Wow. There are bass in here. This is that last perch that I caught and I thought there was a school. So, I, I, I kept him here without measuring him and I, I recast it about four times and then caught this monster. This is unbelievable. Oh my gosh, look at the difference. The average length of a largemouth bass is 16 inches, but they have been known to grow over 30 inches, although it is very rare. I was going to try to save this pond by putting big bass in here and apparently there is some in here. I don't know why the sunfish are overpopulated. Maybe he's the only one or she. Oh my gosh. That is amazing on that such a little hook. Look at this. Tiny, tiny hook. So as you've seen in that last catch, I caught this little guy and I was gonna go measure him but I thought well maybe there's a school left of them right in this area so I cast it a few more times. Thought I hooked onto a rock or got hung up but no, it was this monster right out of this pond in this valley. Beautiful, beautiful. I was screaming at the top of my lungs for that hook or my line not to break because I couldn't believe how big of a bass was on the end of my line. Wow. Let's go get a look at him in the sunlight. Look at that beauty. Next to the average size sunfish I've been catching. We're gonna get measurements on both of them. You know what? I'm gonna go put a little water on this bass so it stays good and healthy. 
After further research that evening, I found out that that was probably a female bass and she was loaded with eggs. We're gonna go from tip of the lip to the tip of the tail. Mouth closed. I'm gonna say 23 inches. It's, it may be just under. Maybe just under. We'll say 22 and three quarter. 22 and three quarter. Mouth all the way open from top to bottom and the inside gap. Three and five eighths inches. Okay, so where's our measurements here? Wasn't expecting this, but we're going to put bass on a whole different section. Okay, let's check our perch. I want to say six and a quarter again. Whew, look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Just Gorgeous. Just amazing. Was not expecting that. Well, now I know they're in here. I set out to make this film about this being overpopulated with green sunfish and nothing else in here. I've tried. I've tried so many times to catch bigger species of fish. Just never have. But today was different. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. That might be the biggest... No, that's definitely the biggest bass I've ever landed in my life. Ever. Looks like we're getting wet because I'm taking him pretty far out there. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I've only caught, well, I've caught four sunfish today, but only measured three because one got away. And this bass, out of nowhere, 22 and three quarter inches and a mouth. I didn't get width of the mouth. Should have. Well, we will on the next one. But at least we know which one he is. So if we catch him again, well, no, he is probably the only one in here, but there's got to be more. Got to be more. He can't be the only one. Well, I set out to manage the population of green sunfish in this pond. Catching that bass changed everything. What else is in there? Why have I not caught bass before? Why are the green sunfish not growing to their full potential? Is there more bass in there? And if there is, why haven't I caught them yet? I fished this pond for weeks and I've only caught green sunfish. So, what now? I say, I'm gonna keep trying to catch as many green sunfish as I can and measure them and possibly try for more bass. Are there more bass in there? If there is, I gotta find out. Okay guys, the sun's dropping over the hill. Believe it or not, I want to be honest with all y'all. I've only caught four sunfish today. And one got away. 
So I've only got to measure three. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow, possibly the next day, get some more measurements. And um, I still can't believe I caught that bass. I mean, I've tried so much. I've tried spoons. I've tried these topwater frogs. You know, I've even tried full, um, full size plastic worms. You know, this spoon. I've casted this spoon probably 500 times in the past couple weeks in this pond. Got no hits whatsoever. That's what caught that bass right there. Biggest bass I've ever caught right there. I wish I would have had it on video. I mean, reeling him in. I mean, he hit maybe five feet from the bank. Well, at least we know he's in here. We can get him again. What else is in this pond? Why are the green sunfish so small? Why are there so many of them? If there's more bass, why aren't they keeping the population of the green sunfish down? So many questions can be asked about this pond, but in the next episode, I catch a different type of fish, and it changes everything again. Stay tuned to the Spirit of Nature Wildlife Documentaries, and find out what else is in this pond in the next episode.